Hi friends. Have you ever thought about how the world works? I mean, how it really works. There's a quote from Dan Millman that I like, which is um, paradox. The world doesn't make sense. Don't waste your time trying to figure it out. And yet, uh, it seems like a lot of my life has been about trying to figure out life. Uh, trying to figure out the world. And I was driving along um, here in, in Mannheim, Ludwigshafen. I was driving along and I saw this huge factory. There's a, one of the world's biggest factories here, um, BASF, one of the biggest chemical factories. And I was thinking about how, how, does it, how does the world work? Like how does a, you know, what kind of chemicals do they create and how they supply that to different companies around the world to create different products. Um, when you think about how complex the world is and um, BASF creates chemicals that are in, in almost every product uh, that, that, you, that you come across with plastic in it. So you, you almost certainly have some BASF chemicals somewhere in your house. I mean, almost certainly. Um, and yeah, we don't think about that. We don't think about where does our shit come from. <laughs> and yet, over the last kind of 100 years, 200 years, we've developed this infrastructure around yeah, creating more and more shit, having a better and better life, you know, more prosperity through massive infrastructure but you can't think of it like infrastructure that's what I was thinking was it's not it's not that someone came along and thought how do we make a world as we see it today systems a bunch of interdependent components that came together one of them like evolution our society has evolved over the of, over time and so everything that you see around you is one part that came along to serve another part that already existed. And over time, those parts were able to complement each other and lift each other up to become more and more complex. Where, and you think about human civilization that way, it's ecological. There's a, a bunch of organisms which symbiotically work together. That's all that we are as human beings. I mean, think about this. We are, 90% of the um, cells in our body are not human cells, they're microorganisms, the bacterium, cells, and that's crazy, isn't it? I mean, we're not, we're not really human, 90% of the living things inside us are actually not human, and yet those organisms, we need them to survive, they symbiotically live within us. Without, for example, various microorganisms in our gut, we can't digest food properly. So. And, and, and that's how life works. Life is always living in symbiosis with each other. And that's how our civilization works. Organizations and people, we live in symbiosis with each other. So, as you think about, um, you know, I, I always think about what's my place in the world. I think about, well, what's my symbiosis with the world? What, how am I serving some need that exists in the world already? How am I fitting into a piece? that exists? How do I create myself, the, the self that I want to be most, to serve symbiotically something else in the world? That's a, that's a difficult question, but I think a really worthwhile one to answer and think about. So that's what I'm thinking about today. What's my symbiosis with the world? How does what I do create symbiosis, create this connection that serves to create value in both directions. That's, yeah, that's my thought for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.